let's assume your security team were actually monitoring the traffic which was going on the firewall and let's suppose they were monitoring the traffic under the threads and they were able to find that one of the IP for example 1.2.3.4 uh, this IP is keep scanning your firewall and it's trying to attack your firewall maybe trying to see whether the ports are open or not especially the port 22 whether it's open or not and you know from the firewall because in the thread section your firewall knows what kind of behavior it is actually coming from that particular IP and your firewall actually you know default it denies traffic and it depend upon the policy being said but if it is threat of course it's going to be denied but your security team says that you know what this ip is like actually sending so much of traffic so what should we do like let's do one thing let's block this traffic so you decided to block this traffic so what you can do you can block this traffic by going into the policies right so let's say like you went into the policy you created one of the policy and you added the ip address for example let's use your internet for example um and it has to be inbound right so your source is going to be you know outside let's remove this and just for the test purpose this is outside let's remove this ip for now and destination would be your inside for example um the traffic is coming to inside so what will happen here what you're gonna do you're gonna add the ip address which is 1.2.3.4 right for example and you are going to take an action which is deny you know if the traffic is coming from this particular um ip it should be get denied so this is one of our rule and uh, it doesn't matter like which port is scanning just you know any port it is coming to this ip address and has to be denied so let's do one thing let's uh, rename the rule name as well that would make sense so let's wait this far a little slow and we go here let's say um deny traffic maybe this or maybe you know malicious ip okay then let's say you have created this rule and this rule has to be on top because this rule has to be matched first so this is one of the rule is being created by your security team and you apply on firewall now the problem comes let's say security team is again monitoring and they were able to find that now ip is changed now ip was like 1.2.3.4 right now it's become 3.5 and it is keep changing it's got like 3.100 of suppose 2.0 um you know 10.50 so it keeps changing so how would you do that because you cannot like you know keep adding these ip addresses it has to be something you know like automatic detection of these ip addresses right so how could we do that well one way we can do that we need to find the source of this ip address from which our location this is coming once we find the location we could take some decision let's say this ip is coming from for example afghanistan right i'm not going to blame any country but for our example it is coming from afghanistan so this is not any ip addresses are keep changing maybe person is sitting in afghanistan and he is trying to you know scan your public ip address so instead of you know adding this ip one by one what we can do is we can add all of the ip addresses which belong to the country or region so there comes our today's topic about how we can do that by using the region so to do that what we have to do is we have to go into the objects and in objects there is a regions as you can say there is no region is specified because we haven't configured it and it doesn't have to be configured what you can do is instead you can go to in policies and in the policies you can just click upon the deny traffic and here you can go into the source and if you add here you are going to pop up here let me uh, minimize this now all i have to do is you have to go into add now first we don't need this because we are going to block upon the regions right so we are going to remove this and we're going to do add and in here there's a region option so you have to click upon the region and you have to search for the afghanistan but you can search with the code as well since i know the code it's going to pop up 
here so it is afghanistan so region is selected now what you can do is you can either add you know if you know the range because you don't want you know all the afghanistan ip to be blocked either you can block like one dot two dot any range coming into this or maybe one dot you know any range coming into one series you can block by the subnet or you know that your clients are not located in afghanistan so what you can do is you can instead block whole afghanistan region so let's do this let's block whole afghanistan region any ip address is coming from there it should get blocked right now we have to do okay and this will get add into as a deny policy so you have to commit and okay now let me show you one option so what is the use of these objects and going to the region because if, if you are you know getting that option from there then what is use of here so as you can see when i added one of the region here it's automatically it's coming into here right in in our region section what in, let me close this now let's suppose there is a ip address or subnet is coming and you do not know the you know the location where it's coming from in that case what you can do is you can use the custom kind of region so all you have to do is you have to go and add for example abc right it is just your region you don't know any region right and if you know the you know the location like if you go to like geolocation if you know the latitude and longitude i guess yeah longitude and you can add based upon that as well so it's going to block all the ip address otherwise if you know the subnet is coming for example the new subnet started come which is 2.0.0.0 slash 24 or maybe let's say slash 8 this subnet we're going to block right so this is something you can create your own custom region and you can add into a subnet or whole region you can block by using the geo policy so that is how you can block the traffic based upon the region now after that we have to do is okay now after pressing the okay you are going to get the list of region which has been created the one we created it is coming from palo alto predefined region for afghanistan and the other what we created this is custom region abc now let's do one thing let's take this region into our policy to block the traffic because this is going to be different at this point so let's do one thing let's block this traffic as well so to do that we need to go to policies and in policy you need to select the same policy you have created to block the traffic coming from the regions now in there you need to select the source and in source you have to create add now let me show you one thing because last time what we did we went in here and selected that region right and at that point we added the region for afghanistan right and we were able to add now let's do until let's search for the region what we created so which was abc right so we can see here the abc is coming right but let me show you after doing the okay what happens you see here it says the object already exists which means we have created the object into the region so you cannot create the object so when you are accessing this particular section you are basically creating the object for the region so we are not going to do that right so we need to add the region to policy so to do that just let's cancel this you have to go to add and into add you need to scroll down a little bit and you are going to get the list of region now you can see the abc in here but you have created region based upon the alphabet s or t then you'll have to scroll a little bit down then you can find that region in there since we have created abc let's check upon the abc now we were able to select that abc right because this time it did not give us the error now here we have to do just okay so we have added two region here the abc and afghanistan now any ip addresses coming from these particular two regions they are going to deny based upon our policy so that is how you can control your traffic based upon the region well this is for now and i'll see you in the next topic with different sections see ya.